Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So in our last video, we have seen what are the variables are available in the Postman. And in our last video, we have covered what is a global variable and how to set the global variable. So today in this video, we are going to set the collection variable. So what is collection variable in the sense? So you can define some variable within the collection level that is going to work only for the particular collection. So for example, I have created one folder called collection variable here. Okay. So here, if you go to this collection level folder, you can see authorization, pre-request script and the test and the variables, right? So here you can go to the variables. So here also you can define the variables. Okay. So in our previous video, we have seen the global variables. So if you want to go to the global variables, you can go to the environment tab and here you can, here you can see the global details. Okay, global variable details. So if you want to define some collection level variable, that is also possible, okay? So like I told you earlier, so global is the lowest difference, okay? And the next one is a collection. So now we can go to this folder, which is collection variable folder. And here you can see something called variables, okay? And inside this collection, I have a request one and I have request two. So both are same endpoint I'm using here. So I have a page number equal to two, right? So this two, I'm going to set it as a collection variable, okay? If you want to set it from the, uh, the request directly, so just select that variable, whatever the value that you want to set. So click on the set variable and just go to uh, this set as new variable. And I'm going to give this as a page number, okay? And the value is automatically taken from here. If you want to change, you can change. I mean, I, here you cannot change. After creating the variable, you can go on, you can change them, okay? Now you can select the scope. So this one I'm going to store as a collection variable, which is C, okay? So set variable is done now. So now you can see this is automatically changed by variable, okay? And if you go to this collection folder level, so here you can see in the variable tab, the variable is set, okay? The page number is a variable name, and this is a value, and this is a current value, okay? So here you will not see that collection, I mean, uh, the variable type, right? So when you go to this global, here you can see variable type. So this is applicable only for the global and environment. Environment will cover in the next video. But in the collection level, you will not see the, I mean, the uh, variable type. Okay, that's okay. Okay, the initial value, current value, again, the same concept. So the only the initial value, be, value will be exported when you share this collection. If you want to share your current value, when you do the export, you have to click on the Preset button. Okay. So the pre assist what it will do, it will store all the current value also when you share this collection to someone else. So if you want to share, you can just click on here and you can go for a export, which will export as a collection file, sorry, JSON file. And when you click on this share link, so you will get this uh, direct people email ID. This is will work only for the team workspace, or you can go for a JSON link. Okay, so when you click on the get JSON links, you will be getting some random URL. So this URL is coming from Postman Cloud Server. Okay, so whenever you make some changes on the collection, you have to make sure you are just clicking on the update link, which will uh, get your current update also, and you can copy them and you can share it with any one of them. So they can just import to the Postman. Okay, so this is a collection variable. So now if I send this record, so this is, when you just mouse over here, you can see this is coming from the C which is scope is collection, okay? And the current value and the initial values are coming. So now we can use this one, okay? So if you want to see what value in the event in the page number, just you go to the console and you can see it is going as a page two, okay? So this variables, right? So we have defined this page number. So what I can do, I can go to the request two also and I can use like this, okay? So the moment when you start typing, you can see, you can, you can, I mean, you will get the reference of the page number variables. Okay. So just click on save. So this will also work fine. So what is the collection variable? So the name itself, it is applicable only inside this particular collection. You cannot use this variable into the another collection. So for example, I have this variable. Okay. This is a collection variable. I just copy this variable. And if I go to this particular method, and if I try to use it here, okay. So this will not work. You can see still it will come as an unresolved variable. Why? Because the collection variable scope is only within the particular collection. You cannot share the collection variable to one collection to another collection as a collection variable. Okay. 
the collection variable is applicable only for the within the collection. Okay, so this is a manually set, right? So if at all, if you want to set in the automated way, I mean, the, through the script, so what you can do, you can go to the prerequisites. So here you have to type pm dot collections variable dot set here a uh, page number, right? So page, I'm going to set the number as page number, okay? And the value is I'm going to set it as a two now, okay? So now if I run this collection, so this will execute first, and it will set the variable in the, I mean, it will set the variable in the collection level. You can see the page number set it as a two now, okay? So if I change back to one, then it will be set it as a one. Okay, so now if I send this request, and if you go to the collection variable folder, you can see the page value is set to one, okay? So the script, whatever the value that going to, you are, you are going to set the variable through the script, that will get update only in the current value. It will not update the initial value, okay? So now either you can use any one of the variables. So when this collection variable will come into the picture, so I have a global, I have a uh, collection and I have environment variables, right? When I want to use the collection. So for example, you have some environment like a dev, UA, UAT. If you feel like, so this variable can be only for this particular. So for example, username is, is different for across all the environment. So those kind of details, you can keep it as a collection variable. Okay, for example, dev, I have username one, QA, I have username two, right? So these kind of unique uh, variables that is applicable only for that particular collection, you can go for a collectionable variable. So if it is something common, then we can go for an environment variable, which will be covered in the next video, okay? So manually, you can set the collection variable like this, and through the script also, you can set like this, okay? So that is what all about the collection variables. Um, we have seen how to uh, persist a value. So if you persist a value, this current value also will be exported. Okay, so now if you want to export this, just click on the export collection. So this will be stored as a JSON file. So now I'm going to export this. Okay, I'm just going to uh, export in this particular location. Okay, the collection were exported successfully. So now let me open my downloads folder. This is a collection that, I mean, that we have exported now. You can see the collection variable is the name and postman dot collect, postman underscore collection dot JSON is the file extension, okay? So now inside this, what you can see, right? So all about your collection information. So for example, this is my postman collection, right? So if you just click on this ID info button, it will give you the postman ID, okay? So the same thing is coming in the JSON also, you can see. It is starting with the one double two three zero, uh, no, yeah, so where you can see the same number. This is a collection ID for this particular collection. And this is a collection name and this is a schema name. And when you scroll down, you can see we have two requests. One is a request one and one is what request two, right? So request one, request two. So inside this, you can see all the details, whatever we have set in the pre-request script, we have set the page number variable. And this is a get method. And the request two also, you can see it is a get method. Right? So this entire collection will be exported as a JSON file. And you can share it to anyone that you want to use. Okay, So that's all about the uh, collection variable. So in our next video, we will see how to use the environment variable. Okay, Thank you, guys.